since there are 13 levels in this course like even if we compare with uh, compare it with any uh, course in the market you see there are maybe three levels or maybe four to five levels right but in this course there are 13 different papers that the student needs to complete so what a student feels is it might take them maybe 10 years or maybe uh, 8 years or maybe 12 years to complete the course but we have seen and uh, there are lot of fellows those are qualifying at a very young age so what is your take on that and uh, what is the average age to complete all the 30 levels so um, I, I personally cleared the papers in five and a half years so it's not that you need uh, to uh, be there for at least 10 to 12 years it's not like that um, I think on an average uh, people yeah, do tend to clear it in like six to eight years uh, now given that uh, students are taking a lot of exams in their college days as well and um, it's, it's definitely uh, if I consider all the papers it's definitely a little longer than the other courses out there but one thing unique about actually is you don't have to wait for the entire uh, course of exams to start your job. So your career is never inhibited because of this. You can clear the uh, remaining papers alongside job as well. So that is something which is really good about that. Okay. So uh, one more question related to this is if we compare it with any course, maybe CA. Uh, so there is no grouping system, right? So. Uh, do you feel relaxed while uh, giving the exams that you need to take up one exam at a time or maybe two exams at a time and you don't need to think about uh, uh, things like uh, what if I don't clear CB1, what will happen to my CB2 result because all the papers are independent. So in a some way we can feel that the students are relaxed in this uh, point? Definitely, um, I think um, the flexibility really adds on to the uh, strong points of this course and um, as you said, we can take uh, the, the exams in any kind of computation combination and um, if for some reason in any term somebody is busy because of something at home or college or work, the person can decide to just take one attempt uh, or not take any attempt at all for that matter. So there are no restrictions as such and you can combine any paper with anything. So you can take like a more theory, theory paper with a more practical paper that would be a good combination. So that, that a lot of flexibility is there in the course. Okay. 